I haven't uploaded anything on this channel for quite a while. Uh, that's because I've been busy and I just haven't had the motivation to do stuff. But I'm gonna give another shot here. But I'm actually just gonna rename this channel. I think from learning DIY to just something else more generic. Today, uh, a new video. How to install the Ubiquiti NVR on just a regular desktop without buying that $500 Ubiquiti NVR thing, which I would never buy. I don't know why anyone buys that thing. Um, when you buy your own computer, you can put your own hard drive in it, whatever size you want. You have much more control over it, everything like that. So we'll just do a quick run through. There's probably a lot of tutorials on how to do this on uh, YouTube, but well, right? Why not throw another one up? So here we go. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is get a USB key and preload. I'm using Ubuntu just because most people tend to use it with uh, the NVR, but you can install any version of Linux that you want. Uh, just note that the instructions might be slightly different or very different to install it on different distributions. I'm using Ubuntu 16.04 or 03, Ubuntu 16. Uh, burn it to, uh, burn it, that's an old term. Copy it to a uh, USB key using your favorite software. I use Rufus. Get it plugged into your machine and boot it. Now, before we do anything, we need to get rid of this horrible operating system off this computer here. Uh, this thing's called Windows. We don't like it. We don't want to use it. Yes, please, do not use Windows unless you absolutely have to. That's just my recommendation. Yes, Linux has its shortcomings, and it has quite a few of them. You know, a lot of them being multimedia and things like that. Uh, you got to be careful with Linux printers, capture cards, peripherals. But you know, for just a day-to-day -day driver where you just need to do work, don't use Windows. Use something else. Um, I will be installing the NVR on this Lenovo Tiny PC. It's just an i3 with four gigs and. Uh, a 500 gig hard drive, 500 gig should be enough for this. So let's go. Next step is just reboot this thing. I, I don't even think I can reboot it right now in this mode, can I? Make your computer easier to use. Oh no. I believe it's F12 on the Lenovo to get it booted. Yes, uh, Kingston Data Traveler install Ubuntu. English, go. Uh, download updates while installing? Yeah, sure, why not? Install third party for graphics hardware? No. Okay, install Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager? Hell no. Erase and install. Just blow it all away. I N N T O R. Your name. I'm gonna, just going to put this as NVR. Login automatically? Nope. So I'll get back to you when this is done. Alright, installation complete. Reboot. Pull the USB key out. Let's open up a terminal. You want sudo apt get install. Uh, I think we should probably do uh, uh, open JDK8 uh, JRE, I believe. It's a JRE. Headless. And let's see if that works. Password. Okay. Yes. Yes. You guys can see all this. I guess I could zoom into the terminal, but you should be able to see that. Let me uh, adjust. Just okay. Uh, oh, maybe like we need to do a W get. So I, I need I need to know what the la latest version. Uh, I need to know what the latest version of the NVR is. So give me one second. Let's see if I got this on the first shot. Okay, there we go. So it's going to download this file to your machine. And then all we need to do, hopefully, after is just uh, install it. Uh, so let's try sudo dpkgi unify. Okay, so sudo dpackage dash i. 
enter. I'm packing. Dependent. Okay, so we got a couple dependency problems here. Let me just grab this. So sudo get install. Oh, sorry, f install. Okay, might be some dependencies here. Let's do that. Looks like that did it. So let's just go to uh, 7443. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's pretty much it. So uh, now we're gonna go through, name the NVR and set my time zone and everything. So, so it's already picked up my camera in my house. So this is all fine and dandy. The only thing I'm gonna need to do is just change the IP address when I get on site. Uh, and I think that's about it. So.